Peace, peace, peace. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. For those of you who don't know, it's your boy Vic Slain Hope, and I got another video for y'all. And this video is how to tell if a dude just want to smash you. You know what I'm saying? A lot of sisters are struggling to peep the signs and figure out when the man just want to hit it and, 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 and quit it, smash and dash. So I'm going to give y'all some tips, right? So number one on the list is he never takes you out. Now, there's only three reasons why a man won't take you out. Either he broke and he ain't got no money. Number two, either he just don't think you're worth it. Like he don't think you're worth him spending money on you at all. And or number three, he just doesn't want to be seen with you. Now, the num now him not thinking you're worth it and him not trying to be seen with you is kind of similar, but it's a little different. Now, a man might have no problem being seen with you. Like he might not have no problem being seen coming out his crib with you. Um... People seeing him walking around with you, he might not have a problem with that. But he still might not feel like you're worth him spending money on a restaurant or taking you on a date, right? Um, now, if you don't want to be seen with you, that's like the shorty, like, you know she's a hoe, you know she's around the way girl, and you don't want to be seen with her at all, you feel me? Or she might be butt ugly, or she might look crazy. So you only hit up like 3 in the morning, 2 in the morning, nobody really outside. Like, you know, those are the type of vibes. So there's, there's a little difference. Now, number two, unsolicited dick pics. Like, this is one of, you see, when a guy doesn't really want to work much, right, um, he might send you a dick pic, right? He might just, you know, F it. We're going to cut to the chase. He sends you a dick pic unsolicited. I don't know where, out the blue, right? And... The woman of character, she might get upset, she might curse him out, she might violate him, she might do whatever. But the woman who is with it, right, because dudes is always looking for the with it hoes, right? If she's with it, she might not even do all that. She might be like, oh boy, you crazy, like, yo, that's crazy. Like, you know, some of these chicks be saving your pictures. You know what I'm saying? Some of these girls have a whole catalog of dick pics in their phones, and they share it with the group chat. I'm telling you, fellas, don't go through your woman's phone, because, <laughs> man, <laughs> anyway. The group chat is crazy with these girls, right? So some of these girls, they with it. They with it hoes, right? Like, they saving the pics. They, and they might even respond back. They might be like, what up? You, you know, you, you'll be surprised, right? But the woman of character, like I said, she's not going to go for that. She might violate you. She might expose you, right? But what I was saying is some guys, they just, just want to cut to the chase. Like, well, they don't care if you're going to disrespect them or curse them out. They just want to know whether you're with it or you're not with it. And that's why they would just send the, the pic from the from from the get go, right? Um, number three, he always bringing up sex. Now some dudes, they barely have any type of conversation. They're barely trying to get to know things about you. You know the small little details. They just the conversation always leads back to sex, right? Like you might be talking about you like adventures, you like going now, you like doing certain things, and the conversation he just might be like, "Yo, you ever had sex in the woods?" Like. It just always, no matter what y'all talking about or what's going on, that the conversation always ends up being about sex, right? Um, especially very soon and early on when y'all get to know each other, is this is a clear indication like he's not really interested in getting to know you. Like he just keep talking about sex, right? Um, okay. Number four, compliments are always about your body. Like he don't care about your face really. He don't be like, oh, those, that's nice lip gloss. Oh, those some nice earrings you got on. He don't really care about anything else but the body, right? Like, he might be making compliments about your boobs all the time. He might be making compliments about your booty. Like, he's always talking about maybe how thick you are or how voluptuous or how well put together your body proportion is. It's never, uh, like, compliments about anything other, right? Um, which brings me back to the next one, right? Um, you always catch him looking at your body or trying to cop the feels, right? So for example, you might look away or you might be looking at something and then, you know, you, you glance back at him quickly and he might be looking at your boobs. You catch him staring at your boobs or you, maybe you catch him staring at your butt, right? Um, and trying to cop the feels when y'all give hugs, maybe when y'all greet each other, y'all hug each other. You know, maybe when he hugs you, he's always, you know, he always try to put his hands a little low. Like, you know, you know, yeah, yeah, you know, you know what these dudes be doing. Lower back, trying to touch the butt a little bit. Um, so this is the type of games that some of these dudes play. He might say, oh, you got something on your backside. 
try to act like he's wiping it off. Like, you know, he's just so caught up with your body, right? Like, he's always giving compliments on it. Or he's always trying to touch it in some type of way, form, or fashion. Um, and, like the, like, the other point that I said, he always giving compliments about it, right? For example, even on social media, if he might like some of your pictures, he might like the pictures where you're showing more skin or you're showing more body. He really doesn't really pay attention to the pictures where you're just showing face or maybe you're not exposing most of your body. Um, and you see that a lot, right? A lot of dudes, even if you go on social media right now, a lot of dudes be liking those pictures. The less skin a woman shows, the, the more skin a woman shows, the more likes those pictures usually tend to have. The more of a body or angle that she given, the more those pictures have likes. And it's the same thing when a guy is trying to get to know you. If, if he follows you on social media and he only likes certain pictures, um, and again, like I said, like if he's only just looking at, you know, you catch him looking at your body parts and he always trying to cop the feels, this is some of the signs. Um, I think I'm up to number five. Number five, he always trying to get you back to the crib. <laughs> like, some of these dudes is always trying to get you back to the crib. <laughs> you know, like Chris Brown said, she don't know that we going back to the crib. Yeah. So, for example, you might go out and meet this dude at a club or meet him wherever you meet him, right? And y'all might be having a nice conversation. It might be going good. It might be going sweet. You think he's a sweet guy. And then before y'all break y'all break away or go y'all separate ways, he might just be like, yo, you know, you, let's just go back to the crib. And like, like this dude just met you. He don't know what you're about. He don't really, really know what you're about, right? Um, You don't really know what he about. And he don't got no shame. He just like straight up like, yo, let's go back to the crib. Like, you know, first day, first night, you know. It don't matter where you met him, club, whatever, whatever the scene might be, right? Some girls might be with it. Again, this is a video for the girls who are not really looking for that. Um, so, yeah, so some of these dudes, they don't got no shame, right? And maybe if y'all did know each other, let's say y'all knew each other and y'all just happened to go on the first date or second date or whatever. It's just always the effort of trying to get you back to the house, right? Like, why are you trying to get me back to the house so bad? Like, you know what I'm saying? Come on. You got to know the vibes. You got to peep the situation, you know? If he's not waiting for you specifically to be ready and, and to kind of like let that be known, then come on. You got to peep the signs. Um, number six, um, he only texts you late at night, right? Some of these dudes, they never text you in the daytime. They never, you never hear from them in the daytime. You don't hear no good morning. You don't hear, like, even if you hear good morning, you don't really, the conversation is not very progressive in the daytime, right? They usually wait for the night. You know, they might send you the, the, the eye emojis. They might be like, yo, what you doing? They what you do you to death, especially on the weekends, right? Especially if you're a woman that goes out. Because dudes know, like, you she out with her friends, probably getting drunk. You're probably drinking. You know, when you're drinking, you start feeling, you know, the goose get you a little loose. You know what I'm saying? So they sending these text messages like, yo, where you at? What's up? What you trying to do? You trying to pull up? You want me to come scoop you? Like, what's the vibes? Like, what you getting into? Like, why somebody hitting you up at 2 in the morning? Like, yo, what you getting into? Like, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, so you got to peep the vibes. If, if a dude is constantly just hitting you at late hours, like I just gave you the example of they only hit you up at 3 in the morning, 2 in the morning, 3 in the morning. It's clear what these dudes is looking for, right? So you got to pay heed. Um, yeah, and I think that's about it. Damn, that was seven already? A couple of minutes. All right, so I said he never take you out. I gave you the three reasons. Um, a broke man, and, and for example, a broke man, a man that is not focused on his purpose, he's going to be focused on pleasure. So this is why a lot of these dudes, a lot of these chicks got broke baby daddies, right? Because they like sex. They A, a man distracts himself. When he's not working on his purpose, he, he distracts himself with pleasure and it's usually sex. So, um, so yeah, I said he never takes you out. He always bringing up sex. Um, compliments are always about your body. Um, he always trying to get you back to the crib. He only texts you late at night. He always, you always catch him looking at your body or trying to cop the feels and touch it. Um, and he sends unsolicited dick pics. Um, you know, try to see if, if you, if you wit it off the gate or if you're not, you know, so those are the seven things that seven signs that like a guy is just trying to sleep with you and that's it. That's all he want. Not saying that he cannot be doing other things, um, and playing the game and, and doing all of those things. But a lot of times guys don't really like wasting their time if they think like you're going to play. So they want to 
know off the rip like if you with it or you're not with it that's just the name of the game they trying to see if you you with it or you're not right so let me know what you think of the video if you like it give it a thumbs up share it subscribe to the channel and let me know in the comment section if i missed any or you know how you feel about the video have a good one peace